overcome, uh, actually a lot of you have been asking me how to overcome approach anxiety. And I'm driving right now, so I'm just doing this off the cuff. So approach anxiety. I would say for you to first and foremost to look at it like this. What your anxiety is, is actually misplaced enthusiasm or excitement. Like you want to do something and instead of getting excited about it and letting it come out constructively, that energy come out constructively, you're letting it go inward destructively. So energy that could be used to improve your life, to get that girl or whatever it is, is actually instead going inside and it's making you scared. So think of it from now on as like misplaced enthusiasm. And the thing with approach anxiety is once you do something, like once you step out and actually take some action, uh, all that energy, it supercharges you. It starts pumping endorphins in your system, the adrenaline starts going, and all of that anxiety is now being used as excitement and enthusiasm to make all of your sets better. So the first thing, look at it the right way. Think of it as an enthusiasm and excitement. Second thing, realize that it affects all of us. It's not just something that affects you or you. It's not an isolated thing. Everyone uh, feels approach anxiety when they first start, to, but to different degrees. Like I still get it, it happens, but I'm at that point now that I know that if I take action, something good's gonna happen. And so, instead of letting the anxiety get to me, I just move past it, and that's what happens. Then I, it develops an excitement, as the day goes on, I keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and guys wonder like, oh, what's your secret? And it's just that, I recognize it, and I just, uh, I don't let it get the best of me. Another thing is, um, action creates, action creates, um, what is it? I mean, action destroys fear, hesitation breeds it. So when you're out, if you see a woman you like, instead of pausing, just start walking towards her. If you're walking towards her, the odds are that it's much more likely that you're gonna say something. Or even if you're in a place like, let's say you're at a bar and you see a woman you like and there's music playing, act like you're dancing to the music. You know, there's that saying, motion creates emotion. As you start moving to the music, you'll feel more relaxed, you'll feel more at ease, and then it'll be more likely that you'll go approach her. The main thing is you don't wanna just stand still and get too much in your head. And I think I might approach this woman as we drive, that would be a funny tutorial. So get into motion, actually do something, uh, realize that it affects all of us, move past it, and do something silly. It's better to do something silly than to not do something at all. So you could have a friend of yours make you do push-ups. you could do jumping jacks while yelling, I'm a princess, you know, do whatever. Like tell, you, tell one of your friends, uh, a friend of mine, uh, he would say for every set that you do, I'm going to set as an interaction with the woman. He said, I'm going to give you $10 for every, I mean, I'm going to give you $20 for every set that you do. Um, no, I'm sorry. Every set you do, I'm going to give you $10 for every set I do. I get $20 back. And so obviously I started going crazy getting every, you know, number that I could get approaching every woman, but he had to put enough pain. He had to link up enough pain with not approaching women so that it would force him to approach. So, and lastly, try this exercise. Uh, that's Russell Crowe, by the way. Um, right there. Look good for him. Yes, and uh, that's one of the perks of living in Hollywood. Uh, try this exercise. Grab a pen and paper, because what happens is one of, one of the reasons guys are having so much anxiety is they've associated too much pain to, to interacting with women and not enough pleasure to interacting with them. And so what you need to do is you need to flip it. You need to associate massive amounts of pleasure to interacting with women and massive amounts of pain to not interacting with them. So what you do is you, you grab a pen and paper and a timer and you write at the top, what is all the pain I, I, I feel by not interacting with women? And for three minutes you write out non-stop all of the pain you're feeling by not interacting with women. The next thing that you do, let's see if I can get up to the, no I can't. The next thing you do is after that's up you write, what is all the pleasure I will get by approaching women? What is all the pleasure I'll get by approaching women? Actually for the first question make it what is the pain that I will feel? by not approaching women. The second one is what is all the pleasure I'll get by approaching women? And write it out for three minutes straight. And then after that, for another three minutes, write why am I, and write all the pleasure out. All the sex you'll have, all the fun you'll have, the increased self-esteem, the increased relationships. And when you write out the pain for the first question, be as specific as possible. You wanna really link up for your subconscious massive amounts of pain to not approaching and massive amounts of pleasure to approaching. So when you write out the pain for the first question, really write it out, you know, like all the nights by yourself, all the nights wishing you were out, all the loss in self-esteem, you know, how bad you feel, all the missed sex, you know, everything. And then for the third question, so you do three minutes of each, the last question is, why am I absolutely committed to approaching the women that I want? Why am I absolutely committed to approaching the women that I want? And you write it out for three minutes. 
and write it out non-stop and what this is going to do it's going to rewrite your subconscious so your subconscious is going to think approaching women pleasure not approaching pain and so when you're out it's like going to put you on autopilot for success so try that out try that exercise it'll help i'm also going to do a write-up about this on my site increaseyourdating.com and that should help you out and if you guys have any more questions you know send me an email send me a message i look forward to helping you thanks